Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Drip Coach, here with Drip and Farm for Poverty, where we don't trust, we verify, and operate with integrity and transparency. Let's dive in. So, in this video, I'm going to be picking back on the information I mentioned about my employees. So, I'm looking at this now as a different uh, way to approach this because the more and more I dive in, the more I realize I don't know and the more excited I get about Bitcoin. <laughs> so now I see why, you know, you got these Bitcoin bulls and Bitcoin maxis and all that stuff. And um, I'm going to play a clip from Max Kaiser that talks about this, but approaching this, your Bitcoin as literally a small business and you want to see that small business grow, meaning get more profitable. So with a small business, you want to look at things such as marketing and advertising and customer acquisition and of course uh, your leadership people you put in place to run the business and the best part about this bitcoin and this platform is that all of those pieces are in place and all you have to do is join the network you don't have to hire them they're already there and you have the best and brightest working for you and by owning a business, that is literally the way to get out of the fiat rat race or debt spiral of enslavement <laughs> and entrapment that exists. So let's play a clip from Max Kaiser so I can tie this all together. And before I do that, I'll tell you who is Max Kaiser. You may recognize this guy. He's an American broadcaster, filmmaker, and now a, um, what would you call that? an advisor to uh, President Bukele of El Salvador. So he's constantly supporting and um, around, I think he lives in El Salvador now, but um, I think his net worth is like $150 million and he used to be um, asset manager or uh, something with Wall Street. I can't remember exactly what it was, but he's been around money for quite some time and you know made a decent amount through it. So let's listen to what he has to say about that rat race and your Bitcoin employees. Where you're not going to be chasing money. This fiat money chase is an endless hamster wheel of emotional roller coaster. That is uh, everything is forcing you to think like you need to keep going chasing this tail of the fiat money world. But once you get into Bitcoin pretty quickly, you start to realize it's unconfiscatable. It's inflation proof. It's mine. No one else can take it from me. And the purchasing power is going to go up forever. And I can listen. And Michael Saylor works for me. Larry Fink works for me. Like those are my employees. I mean, you turn on CNBC and Larry Fink's there talking about how great Bitcoin is. And it, two years ago, he thought it was shit. Now he's like, oh, I believe in it. You're like, thank you, Larry. You know, my, I'm up another 10%. Thanks to you, Larry. Everybody has. <laughs> so that was something I touched on in the last video, but that's totally true. Like we don't need to shill or have influencers that got to get paid under the table from scammy devs that will just dump on you the minute your portfolio gets up or the asset appreciates. You literally have some of the best and brightest approaching this as a hedge against inflation and a asset store of value, meaning they don't want to sell it, <laughs> meaning they want to acquire it and pass it on to their children. Like Michael Saylor says, it's like digital property and it's better than digital gold and all these other things. So it's going to become more and more and more scarce. It's capped, you know? So it's like, this is probably the greatest opportunity that has ever existed to get a slice of this business to, to participate in it. And I want to give you one other clip from Michael Saylor, where he talks about, um, the digital gold and the market cap. I mean, I showed this before. Sure. Well, I think I'd start just with Bitcoin. It's, Bitcoin is, is certainly at least digital gold. It's going to eat gold. It's got all of the great attributes of gold, and it's got none of the defects of gold. If you could teleport gold from New York to Tokyo in a, in a few minutes, people would like it. Um, it's going to divert capital from risk, a, risk assets and risk ETFs like SPY. And you can see that uh, these, uh, these ETFs are doing that. It's going to be incorporated into a lot of funds like the BlackRock Global Opportunities Fund or the Strategic Income Opportunities Fund. And so as it, it's an asset class. As it goes into other funds, it's going to become structural. The halving is going to cut the organic supply of natural sellers in half around April 20th. That means there's only about 31, 32 million dollars a day of natural sellers. And the price of Bitcoin is going to have to adjust up in order to meet that investor demand. So I think that's what's going to happen next to the asset. Class. So this was right before the halving and when Bitcoin had hit that 72,000 mark, 
Uh, we're down now, and that's to be expected. Anytime there's a new all-time high in any asset, you can when expect to have up. a correction. But remember, he just mentioned about BlackRock, and Max Kaiser mentioned that, you know, Larry Fink works for him. So if you're not familiar with Larry Fink or BlackRock, Larry Fink is the CEO of BlackRock. BlackRock is the largest asset manager in the world. Uh, this one says 8.7, that says Forbes, but I believe it's closer, closer to a little more than $10 trillion in assets under management. That is insane. $10 trillion from one company, so to speak. And that is one of your employees that now has an ETF. There were 13, if I'm not mistaken, that were approved uh, a couple of weeks back. So all of those people are out there talking to their investors to get them to allocate towards this asset. They are all working on your behalf and you are here understanding how Bitcoin works before them and you can actually self custody your assets. Remember these ETFs and all this stuff, they actually custody it and control it. And you know, that works depending on your risk tolerance and all these other things. But the point I'm getting at is that this is a small business opportunity that has the likes of some very, very prominent people working for you, like Barry Silbert, the uh, CEO of Digital Currency Group. He's on the Forbes, I think, uh, richest billionaires, 3.2 billion. Then you have uh, the Winklevoss twins and Elon Musk, of course, Michael Novogratz. Like there are the list goes on and on and on and on and on that this is indeed a business that you can get into and you have complete ownership and control of without any of the additional legwork. Like you don't have to maintain stock. You don't have to pay these employees that are out here shilling your bags. <laughs> you don't have to clock in every day. Like you can literally come over to this platform, test it out, purchase, uh, send some Bitcoin into this high yield generating wallet and just see how it goes. And you are now part of the network, part of the security and the di diversification of the network, uh, the decentralization of the network. And you now have those same employees working for you to eat gold's market cap as uh, Michael Saylor mentioned. So right now, that is a 15X on this price. The market cap of Bitcoin is 1 trillion. Gold's market cap is 15 trillion. When will it eat that? I do not know, but the bulk of these smart individuals are saying definitely within the next 10 years. So, and who knows how high it goes this cycle? Could it go lower? Yes, possibly. But again, just look at this as a business, an asset, something that you are trying to acquire and not really worry about the long-term thesis of that asset because it will eventually eat gold, as Michael said. So. You getting in now when it's $60,000 and it price appreciates 15 X from there. Well, that already is, um, almost that $1 million Bitcoin price. It's $900,000 per Bitcoin. Cause remember there are only 21 million of them. And if you remember my last video, I showed you, um, approximately 16 to 17 million is like actually available. And the other, depending on who site you listen to, we'll call it three to five million are lost or whatever the case may be. So simple math, you know, if you take five away from 21, that's 16, 16 million is almost um, the 16 trillion that's sitting here. So that is literally a $1 million Bitcoin price that could happen in very, very near future. So you have a almost a guaranteed 15 X at these prices even if it drops, it's going to go back up later due to, again, the employees you have working for you. <laughs> so why go out there and be a degenerate with something that is almost guaranteed to go to zero? And if you leave Max Kaiser, everything goes zero against Bitcoin. But if you're not focusing on acquiring this asset and making that the foundation of your strategy, then you are truly missing the mark. And I, I keep beating this point home because that's exactly what I did in the last cycle. I went out and bet on an anonymous dev that now I know is just a big scammer alongside a bunch of other influencers that really are just trying to pump their own bags and dump on you. Whereas these people 
yeah, you can't really trust them, so to speak. <laughs> but since they did not create the asset and they cannot control the asset, it's a much better um, group of people to be working with, so to speak. So all of that said is get a piece of your business set up already by coming over to drip to btc sending that 0. 0.0007 to get started and then play around in the marketplace and just do that for 30 days and you will be pleasantly surprised you don't have to invest a lot you can do a little that's 50 bucks right now at these prices 45 of that is immediately taken out like you can withdraw it right back off the off the platform unlike all these other dgen platforms we gotta lock up your capital you don't have to lock that up you can literally withdraw that 45 dollars immediately and then just play with the credits and wait for that to convert and do it again that's what i'm trying to show you guys with uh my new test wallet that i created so this is probably the absolute best low risk play that i have seen so far and i'm gonna do um kind of a comparison once that wallet continues or uh finally balances out to see again what that total time frame is and compare that to some dgen um plays that are out there and remember uh we haven't actually hit bitcoin summer so to speak where we're getting new all-time highs at bitcoin and we're kind of off to the races so accumulating at these prices is the absolute best thing you can do right now all right that's all i got smash that hbo special help a brother out like subscribe comment down below and until next time lift daily and achieve your impossible see ya want to pay your in real life bills with crypto how about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account spritz finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments they do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and web3 wallets Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.